Hi, welcome to Witch Peacecraft. Today's video is about my yarn adventures, crocheting and quite a few acquisitions that turned up this week. So let's get started. As you can see, I have finished my crocheted autumn wing shawl. I'll stand up and show you a bit. I'll take it off. Um, the Autumn Wings is a paid-for pattern and it was released and designed by Alex at my Yarny Corner. That's it there. And I have finally finished it. Now, for me, it was taking me out of my comfort zone. One, because it used full ply, which is a very lightweight yarn for me. Um, it's probably sport fingering weight and it's not one that I use often. And a 3mm crochet hook. But why did I think this pattern? Well, I give it a five star review. I loved it. Da -da -da -da. There you have it. I didn't have much choice in colors. I think I spoke about it in a previous video, but this pattern was brilliant and I love the way it turned out. I love the color combo and I just love the feel of it. It is so soft and squishy. So the pattern itself is really well written, I have to say, and so easy to follow. Now, if you're a beginner crochet and you've been doing a few things and you want to step it up a bit and try something, I highly recommend this. Why? Because each section has a stitch count. For me, I don't make shawls often because I rush and I lose my stitch count and make a mess of it. But this was perfect because each section had a stitch count. And you can even work out your stitch count to the V from the corner from there to the V every time. And you can count your stitches each time to make sure you're on track. I love that for me. I'm a bull at a gate. I just rush things. But I really took my time with this. And I really love the frilly border. The only issue I had with it, and this is me personally, is because it was fine yarn and a three millimeter crochet hook when it was it was doing the back post um, crochet. Because I'd lose, I'd check it and think that looks funny, and then I'd check the stitch count, it was wrong, and I would be back posting two together because I'm used to working with thicker yarn. But after a few rounds, I got used to that, and I honestly do love it. It is a great pattern worth the investment i will put a link to um, my yarny corner it's available on etsy i'll put a link for the pattern and to alex's um, podcast channel she has a channel it's great i love it she is also at the moment running a make along and it's my seashawl 2022 is to the hashtag and it's on instagram and you don't have to make her shawl you can make any shawl knitted crocheted sewn you just need to post a picture of it on her on Instagram with her hashtag. And I'll put her hashtag in the description below. Yes, I'm going to put mine. And I may attempt to make another lighter weight shawl. I get asked a lot at my charity store for like beach wraps, like a shawl beach wrap. They can wear around their hips. And I have some very ideal thin weight cotton. And now that I have done such a big project with a lighter weight yarn and a smaller hook I'm keen to have another go and make a beach wrap but we'll see I won't promise anything uh, what else so I used um, Peyton's baby soft merino and in total I used 936 meters which is about a 1024 yards and out of the six 50 gram skeins I had left Across the three colours, I had 24 grams left. So I didn't have a lot of wastage. And it is beautiful yarn. And because it was on special, I raced out and bought some more. Because I am notorious for seeing a pattern, buying it, and then not doing it for a while. And I have another pattern that's a four-ply yarn. And it would be better in pure wool that I bought a while back that I want to do. And I was going to start it this week. But I've had to order special knitting needles because I don't have this size. They will be here next week. But yes, I did buy more of that yarn in these colours because I like the combination. Because it's the combination is um, there's 
navy, teal and amber gold and it just worked really well together. So yes, sometimes you just take a chance and I did. I love it. Thank you Alex for the pattern. It's great. I hope you write many more. Um, what else was there? It, that's about it. I've, I've got some better photos of it that I've taken that I'll put at the end of the video so you can check it out as like a neck warmer or as a full shawl because it's a decent size. Um, let's see. So we have in our wet season, which means it's a lot of rain most days and most nights. And that is when the yarn addict bug gets me and I have to sit inside and I'm getting bored and I buy yarn. And recently I bought yarn I really didn't need and some that I did. So first of all, I will blame this on Alex. She made me do this. She constantly has mini yarns that her and Danny dye or that she buys or uses. And she's sort of got me interested in these mini yarns. And on one of these nights when I was a little bored, I got an Etsy and I thought, well, I'll buy some of these mini yarns. It's like um, they were really reasonable, like $4 Australian each for 20 gram mini yarns you could get 10 gram ones too and I thought and it's a lucky dip you just buy so many and they send you colors and I thought well I'll give that a go it's not too expensive and I didn't look further I saw Ashford and thought oh, it's in New South Wales Victoria somewhere I know silly me it came from Kent England and anyway it arrived this week this is my first acquisition so I've opened the bag first of all there is one extra skein in that colour, 120 gram mini. Look at that. So I'm going to open this. It's a lovely pack. I'll tell you who it's from. I only bought six because I thought, well, I'll make a little project. I don't know if I'm going to like these minis. And yes, there are my six minis. So you've got like a pinky purple, a couple of green tones, a gold tone more greeny tones so yeah it's well thought out i think and it's really nice to receive i think that that's their 20 i got a 10 gram freebie which is really nice often um you buy things and you don't even get a note you just get what you've ordered i know when i sell tea cozies on etsy or um, made it i a tea bag or a cup of tea bags like gourmet types unusual tea bags in with the gift and one of my reviews the lady said besides the tea cozy being beautiful it was a real treat to find the tea bag so I know it's it's kind of special to put a little something in there I know Hobie when you buy from Hobie you might get stitch markers or a, a street um seam unpicker so yeah that's just a tip I really like the fact that I got my six 20s and I got a bonus 10. Now that was from because I messed up and it was an Australian yarn and I was more concerned about the freight costs. That's the only reason I wasn't sort of keen to buy overseas. It was Ruffles yarn and she Kent United Kingdom. So yes I'll put a, um, a link in the description below to the Etsy shop and you never know I may end up buying some of Danny and Alex's mini yarns or bigger yarns. I keep eyeing off the yarn, they die. So that was my first acquisition. The other thing was I've had this like pattern, like I said, that I bought ages ago that I've been inspired into making. But I wanted to get the yarn from Wool Warehouse. Da -da -da -da. Now, there's a lot. There's this bag and this bag. All these acquisitions arrived on Friday. Today's the 29th, Saturday. Now, I like Wool Warehouse because their little extra treat is um, it all comes in and all gains the bag. I needed this particular yarn. It's all um, DK. What do you call it? Sorry. 
I love these organza bags. It's all um, Stylecraft Special DK 100 gram balls. I needed this colour because I have a project on the go and I had bought some from Wool Warehouse last year but I rang out and I cannot substitute it. So that's why I went online to buy two of maybe three of these colours and ended up deciding I would buy the gold and the brown and in this bag another is some blues red and green and then a, another because I thought that's a candy shop one there I won't take them all out it's all style craft this is for a blanket project that I will start when I finish some of my others so all that was from War Warehouse I like the organza bag as a special little treat and their freight to Australia is re really reasonable and I do like Starcraft Special DK. It is lovely and soft. So that was that acquisition. So the minis were first and I picked them up from the mailbox. The I go inside because the ladies at the post office leave the note we need to see you and this one was in there as well. Now, Bendigo Woolen Mills, I like their wool. Um, and, yeah, I'll have to budget for it because it's not it's not expensive, but it's sometimes a little... I spend too much on other things and the budget runs out. But they sent me an email, which they sent out to their customers, about the special they were having, and I couldn't resist. Now, um, I'll take them out. See, this is something I would think the VIP customers and you go wooden woolen mills could do a little treat but they don't they just send you what you order so there were one kilo pack of bloom capri and one kilo pack of red surprise so basically there are five 200 gram balls, one, two, three, four, five. Now these are normally about $15 a ball and I got them for $60 a pack. So, you know, a bit less than that. But there you go. That is the da -dum -da -dum, blue Capri. I like the colorway in that. And that is 100% pure wool. And then I, this of course being my favorite colors, oranges this is called red skies it did make me think it looks really red there but it's quite orangey in this light it looks red it's actually orangey reds so i bought two packs of those because it was a great special but those were the nights i sat around bored shouldn't get online shopping the last thing i need is more yarn but i am starting to lean towards some four ply yarn and some finer projects because I think doing Alex's autumn wing shawl pattern has really helped my fine crochet with a much smaller hook and, and pattern and yarn. So they were my acquisitions. Basically that was it for the week. That I got home and the wool warehouse was at the door. I would picked up the ones in the morning from the mailbox Wool Warehouse um, delivered to a residential address and it was at the door. Um, Thing had got it when he got home. Um, Thursday we had our scholarship presentation day for work. So it was a pretty busy week. And yes, it went off really well. Everyone was really pleased, even under a lot of COVID restrictions. And yeah, um, come Friday, I think I worked till about one o'clock and I just hit a wall. I came home. And as Reeb said, you had a quick nap, six hour quick nap. Yes, I did. Anyway, guys, we are getting close to the end of January and I am really looking forward to February the 1st for our make along Rock 2022 AU. So far, I think we're up to almost 30 pictures posted, people doing different projects. It's so exciting. And I was so excited to see what people were doing for the um, Goanna album cover. I am a little croaky. Um, that's because of the scholarships. I do a lot of talking, a lot of running around. 
And the first thing to give out is my damaged vocal cords. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, take care. Remember, you could have a yarn adventure using some minis. Thanks, Alex. Bye for now.